Hello, and thanks for watching this video demonstration of some more features and benefits of HD Witness from Network Optics. In this uh, particular episode, we're going to be learning how to uh, create and manage new users as well as creating, saving, and managing custom layouts. Uh, I'm going to start off with users in this case, so I'm going to go ahead and close my local here, minimize that. As you can see over in my tree, I have all my servers uncollapsed, but if I want to, I can collapse them all back down and I have servers, users, and my local media. In this case, I'm going to focus on users. Right click on it, create a new user. Let's create this user named Joe Smith. Give him a password. Another password confirmed. In this case, I want to create a live viewer, a, a sub-level viewer. So I have a couple of different choices, live viewer, viewer, advanced viewer. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just create a viewer here. I'm going to open the advanced settings and I'm going to give them some specific settings. I don't want them to be able to adjust camera settings. I certainly don't want them to have administrator ask, uh, access, but I do want them to be able to use the PTZ controls and I don't want them to be able to export video for the purposes of uploading it to YouTube or anything like that. So now that I've got my settings, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Open users up here and you can see it was originally just admin, but now I have Joe Smith as a user. Now Joe Smith doesn't have any views yet, so I'm going to go ahead and create a custom layout and pick some cameras for Joe to be able to monitor. In this case I'm going to go ahead, let's see, I'll bring in an indoor camera, I'll bring in a couple of outdoor cameras here, and one more for good measure. Uh, in this case I want to go ahead and create a custom layout now. As you can see, I can just click anywhere in the video and drag them around our sort of revolutionary grid UI here. In this case, I want to use this. I'm going to drag that one over there. Simply grab it by the bottom corner and stretch it into the amount of grid squares I want it to occupy. And just like that, I've created a layout. Now, any of these I can drag in and move over as I want to, but that's the one I want as the primary layout there. This is the core of the layout that I want Joe Smith monitoring. These four cameras, this could be anything. This could be all the front entrances. It could be a particular branch of, of one location, and that's the only one in the enterprise they're actually allowed to monitor. Once that's done, saving the layout, I just right-click anywhere on the main screen, on the, on the void background there. So in this case, save current layout, and it would save it as the current layout, as new layout one, but I want to save this layout as, and I'll call this Joe one and I could obviously create multiple layouts and assign cameras that I wanted him to view etc now he could make changes and rotate these videos around have full access for zoom in zoom out I gave him archives so he could go back into the archives uh, but once they close out of the system no, no changes would be saved to that particular layout now when I save this layout for Joe one it saves it over here under my uh, user as admin now I want to assign it to Joe, I can simply click it and drag it right up to Joe Smith the user and now it's created on theirs and I can delete it off of my layout as admin because as admin I can log into his layout anytime I want to. And when Joe Smith logs into the client, this will be the only view he has and he can pull that right over and it'll automatically pop up his automated layout. That's it for creating and managing users and that's it for uh, creating and customizing layouts for said users. Pretty simple.